Palm Beach is a piece of paradise. Um, when you really think about it, it's this exclusive little island. Uh, we're at the north tip. This home was specifically situated to take full advantage of this amazing ocean that you wake up to. This particular lot when we came here was a vacant lot and when we started the project, you know, we set up a tent on the site and a whole team assembled and we sort of sketched and brought images and concepts. You know, since this upper part of the ocean is higher, this would be where the main house is. And then because you had a lower part of the site, you know, we created a smaller pavilion or guest house down towards the front of the site. As well as the house is also situated at 17 and a half feet above sea level so that if a breaking wave were to come through, the house is designed structurally so it can withstand the force of a wave as well. When thinking about this house, you have to realize what a role water plays. Forget the natural setting, forget the fact that we're in a tropical paradise, so the blues and the greens are constantly in your face, but water is one of those soothing elements, and this house is all about fueling your soul. Coming in the front door from the street is our exterior foyer. The exterior foyer consists of a whole series of water features. A huge trend in architecture is bringing the water very close to the structure. And we kept the elements really simple. I mean, everything about this house is just water, fire, earth, metal. So it's all just really meant to surround yourself in things that are very familiar to you. The natural elements in this uh, entry sequence and throughout the home are to really create a coastal sort of contemporary feel. The water is brought to the foyer so that you feel like you're in the ocean as soon as you enter the home. You might be hearing it, you might be feeling the salt air, you know, everything like that, but you want to know that you're at the ocean as soon as you get there. When you open the door, it's an incredible feeling. This is a five foot wide door, eight feet tall. You really holding onto a piece of luxury and you feel it immediately. When that front door opens, I want people to feel emotionally wow. We really don't want one feature to catch your eye. We want it to be the composition that the house presents. And of course, looking straight through to the view doesn't get any better than that. Well, Mark uh, sort of took the cue from what we talked about with the exterior, taking natural elements that might be beach or coastal associated with the wood on the exterior of the house, the decking outside, the stone, and brought those into the house. It gave it that intimate feel, took care of the, the noise issues, and as well gave it that uh, timeless kind of look. The best rooms, to describe them in one word, are comfortable. And comfortable comes only one way, layers of softness. It's upholstery, it's pillows, it's throws, it's greenery, it's things that just make a room feel like you want to sit down. Being a modern home, we don't have a defined foyer, we don't have a defined dining room. But what we do is we put architectural elements to create those edges. The Mark V is really incredible being able to take a modern home and make it feel warm and comforting and inviting and it cuddles you. So one of my favorite things in the house is that wall in the dining room. It kind of captures that corner. We purposely did it asymmetrically. Again, it's a celebration of nature. Metal, wood, the floors are stone, the staircase is iron, and the fountain represents water and fire. So it's, it's a explosion of all the things that exist in nature. There's certainly a connection between the wood ceilings and the wood walls. It's this whole idea that from the ground up, there's a sense of warmth. During the winter time, when you're getting those cold winds, they come out of the north. That outdoor room, you close the ocean doors, open up the doors to the inside, and then you have more entertainment space and flow instead of it becoming a useless space. One of the best things about living in Florida is on beautiful days, you get to choose how much you want to spend time indoors, how much you want to spend time outdoors. The colors used in that space were absolutely designed to relate to the water features beyond, both the man-made and the god-made. You know, it's got the big center space, but it also has a core to the left and it has a core to the right. And some of those are able to be closed off for entertaining or noise purposes. And some of them are left open and flow visually as well as physically.
Yeah, I, we call those the airline cabinets. You know, they look like you're in an airline, you know, ready to put your luggage in there for a uh, walk on. But uh, homes like this, the kitchens are for entertaining. The kitchen is very contemporary. So that living edge serves a purpose. It warms it up and brings in that organic feel. That living edge was manufactured here. Um, it's something that you're seeing a lot of in interior design that kind of you know, presents nature. The island top is recycled glass. So it's really a combination of all sorts of things, but designed to just kind of be quietly amazing. So the space that we're in right now is called the club room. It's to be warm and inviting. Let's say after a dinner party, the women go off to one side, the men go off to another. This is the one that's a little bit more masculine. It's adjacent to the bar area, not a formal bar, but a bar that you can get to from every it's which side. It's actually a gathering bar. It's not, this bar doesn't even have a side for a bartender. You, know, you stand on the same side as other people and serve people, so everyone gathers. They don't sit at the bar. Some of my favorite features of this space are when you have a long linear space, we decided to kind of break it up. Throw these random just tracks through the room to kind of make it less linear. The wedge pendant over the bar brings some of that organic, uh, you know, softness to the room. It's a modern interpretation on a wine cellar. We no longer go down into the cellar to get it. You do it with your guests. You don't separate yourself from them. It's a more informal style of living. The space that's at the front of the house is the office or the den. It's a space that somebody might be doing some business meetings. And if you are doing some meetings or whatever, you know, the other places of the club room can be sitting areas that augment the business function. It's not that rare that stairs become sculpture. Stairs become a major feature. Here, they're the celebration of everything this house represents. So it does have every element the water, the fire, which is the lighting, the steel, which is the structure, the wood, which are the treads, and the stone, which is the back wall. The space at the top of the stairs was designed to use your imagination. You can only predict so much of who the family is that's gonna buy this home. So why not have a space like that, make it playful, it's got great views, and let people claim it. Almost every bedroom suite, we wanted to blur the lines. We wanted the bedroom to seamlessly become the wet environment in the bathroom. We wanted couples that are enjoying a weekend here to have the things at their fingertips that might not normally be in their own home. Also, all the bedrooms upstairs are thought of as like suites, like you've arrived at a beautiful destination hotel. But when you get into your suite, you have a sitting area, you have a writing area, you have a bathing area. When you have views like this, you don't want to miss them for a second. So that master suite was designed to absolutely maximize everywhere you looked, that gorgeous, gorgeous horizon line. There's a fireplace that separates the sitting area from the sleeping area that's freestanding in the room, and tucked into the side of the design of it is the breakfast bar or a wine bar, whatever you want to call it. So you've got everything you need to be self-sustained, never come down. His bath was designed to have everything at his fingertips. Perfect storage, perfect place to empty your pockets, perfect place to shave, perfect place to dress, everything. Her bath was designed again to have everything she wants at her fingertips in kind of a romantic, sexy way. It's got a private balcony with the bathtub set up at the doors that totally open, which is again open to a jacuzzi on that deck that is open to a fireplace with a TV. And it has a privacy shade that comes down should you need it. This whole team, we've gotten together for, I don't know, a dozen years now. They're just absolutely fabulous. And, you know, everything we create is unique. And we got clients that love it, clients that want more of it. And that's what makes you keep going on. A home is designed to de-stress you. A home is designed to nurture you and give back to you and give you and your family a place to, ah. Uh,